this is Sherry Munzik, and I work with Missouri Baptist Sullivan Hospital as their laboratory. In we are um, a 25-bed hospital, but we have a very active emergency um, room and also clinics. And so by non-urban, we're very much a community hospital. By working in a smaller one, um, we supply the community with their health care needs. And most of the time, our patients are someone we might know, or they're a family, or there's some kind of a connection to somebody that works here. So we really do treat our patients as if they are family because they are someone's family. It's really interesting to see how we all help each other out, especially in this time with COVID. And that's really exciting and um, it's, it's fun. I actually recommend starting out as a generalist just so that you get some kind of an idea of what's going on. Um, you might see what, where your um, skills are, what seems more interesting, what's more exciting to you. Is it microbiology? Is it hematology? Is it chemistry? Do you like working with your instruments? Do you like working you know, with your eyes and it's um, less of an instrument type thing giving you um, results? And that way you can determine which area that you really do like, then you can go on from there. And being a generalist is like the big picture over everything. And it's really interesting to see what's going on with somebody when you can see their hematology, their chemistry, their coag, um, their urinalysis versus, okay, I'm a specialist in hematology. I'm only looking at leukemias or I'm only looking at hematology. I don't see another area. But that's not to say that um, if down the road, that isn't what you decide you'd like to do, you know, definitely there's the need for the in-depth studies and understanding of um, further down into the body's processes and functions as far as what testing needs to be performed. In our department, we are a small laboratory and we're a small department. So as I said before, we kind of treat everybody as a family. And so we do go above and beyond. We will we'll go grab a specimen from a location. We will go drop off supplies. We will help the provider um, figure out what kind of orders that he's trying to do. So in the beginning of the COVID season that um, we actually didn't have a lot of couriers. And so ED would call and say, hey, can you run this down? Because he lived in St. Louis. And he, I would definitely say we have a more intimate. Our providers and nurses know exactly who we are by name, um, especially when we actually have technical staff that go up on the floor to draw blood, which is unusual. Uh, most technical staff don't do that, but it does create quite a relationship between the providers and the nursing staff. And, and you know, we, we have a good relationship with everybody, housekeeping and dietary. I would say BJC is a good starting point for medical laboratory career because we have 13 different facilities. It's, we are working on standardizing within each other's um, laboratories. It's that family, it's that group, it's that I respect each other and what can we do to help each other? We have a blood supply shortage right now. And so we're saying, hey, I'm out of O's. Anybody have some O's they can send me? And you know, not even two minutes later, there's a pop-up. Hey, I got some, I'll be sending the courier to go get them. Leaders that think ahead, they plan ahead. So we do actually transfer um, positions around. Um, there is a year limit, like you work in one facility for a year, and then you can look for other opportunities. Um, it's really just communication between you and your manager of what are you looking for? What are your goals? BJC is looking for how can we grow you as an individual? Okay, I would give the advice of each laboratory is a little bit different. Expect your training to not be exactly like you had it in your um, clinical rotations. Each laboratory operates a little bit differently. It's kind of uh, four plus four equals eight, but so does five plus three. It also equals eight. Here's why you might want to come to Missouri Baptist Sullivan Hospital is because I describe us as small but mighty. Um, we are smaller, but we still have very good equipment. It's equipment standardized across BJC. Um, we have actually gotten some of the equipment before it was standardized. Um, our hematology analyzers are top of the line. Um, they were approved by FDA in November, and we were one of the first ones in the country to get it. So 
I don't want anybody thinking small means backwards or behind because we are not. We are right on the top of it. And sometimes we as a small facility can see the overall big picture. So sometimes our process is we start out and others adopt because we can see every step along the way where larger facilities don't see the beginning, but just the end. So if you want to be involved in looking at the entire therapeutic and diagnostic picture of you know, what's going on with patients and how to get results out, um, Missouri Baptist Sullivan is a very good location to be starting your career.